my friends, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome back to my Tomb Kings Let's Play on YouTube. This is episode number six, and we, in the last episode, we made quite a lot of progress. We got a second army, we took Lashiek, and we're now going to move Arkhan's army all the way to the Sorcerer's Island to conquer that and take the full region for myself. Once we've done that, we're going to look to take out all these other factions that are plaguing us in the local area, and probably take on the Dwarves at some point and just get some money out of them, sack them. Do whatever we can. We could go down to the Elven Ruins and take that eventually. But obviously I want to do that once we've taken the whole region first and actually consolidate our, our faction. I'm actually enjoying this campaign a lot. It's probably been the campaign I've enjoyed the most on Warhammer 2 so far. So I've got to give a lot of credit to Creative Assembly and the people that worked on Total War um, for this DLC. Because it's been the most worthwhile DLC I've played for a long time. Right, well, that being said... Let us continue. We're at the end of turn phase. We are recruiting the units. We're getting some Nehek warriors. Or Nehekara warriors, sorry. From Lashiek and our new army. And then we'll probably swap them over with Arkan's army afterwards. On Arkan to have the Doom stack, basically. And then the second army to have all the, the throwaway units. Uh, mission issued. Destroy the following faction. Next to the flame. That'll be easy. Follow again. Public order plus two for Sandy High Socks. I have unlocked the Great Incantation of Tahoth, even better. Not going to use it yet, though, but that's good to have. Now, public order is currently low, but it's fine. Go to here. I go there with you. Fully replenished. I can actually recruit another unit here. I can't now because I've just actually moved on to that area, but. Attack. Going towards there you are, Sorcerer's Island to take it. Get the next turn. Last yak. Right, this is important now. I could get a desert lookout. I get a garrison, which is gonna be useful in where we are currently located. I could go for a infrastructure. Mortuary home, I get growth, I get replenishment, I get untainted, it's all good stuff. A Charnel Plaza, counter movement and a bit of income. Obl obelisk, public order and untainted. Could go for that, but not at the moment. Could try and get more stuff here, but I think we'll keep all our military stuff at Caliph's Palace. It'll give me income and faction trade. So it's between either getting a garrison, useful from where we're located, but I don't think I need it yet, or we go for growth and casualty replenishment. And we get untainted anyway, so let's just get mortuary house, I think. Or do we go for an obelisk? Ooh, it's hard side. Look at that. Get the growth as well. The growth's going to help us out. We can just level stuff up then. Get that mausoleum finally. Get that up to a rank 3. Meanwhile, we've got money left over. Money to burn. And we're just going to keep getting the... Uh, say we've got money to burn. They don't cost anything, which is the great part. Get direwolves. And I can't get archers here, can I? Why can I get archers? Oh, okay, I got only maximum of 4. That's why. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Uh... Get the maximum of direwolves then, in that case. Get all of them. Have all four. End turn. Because you got it, because it costs no money, I can just get... It's great, it's great. This is a great balance, because I can get all the stuff I want to get, but I have to work it out as well. I, I can't just get, like, loads and loads of Nehek Warrior or Nehekara Warriors units. I have to, you know... Have to be smart about it and that's enemy. good lost tomb hit knowledge lovely do i want money or do i want jars getting good money now though let's get the jars Thought and find. okay uh prince barak you leveled up again another skill point for you i could go and get training that's going to be bloody good the other person's going to go and get the jars so you're going to go and get the experience for all my units make all my units hard hitting Gonna take Sorcerer's Island for me, all of you. Prince Barak is gonna take it for me, I think. Actually, I don't think he can. You have your army's gonna take it, haven't it? Okay, in that case, go over there. It costs just over a thousand. I can afford that easily. Colonize. I could treasure hunt, but we're gonna colonize it. Province secured. I've unlocked another right again. And I just gotta upgrade it. I get. Spears and warriors. Takes two turns. Well done. Full region. And now I can use this. Casual replenishment. 
go on public order and, and tainted. Could go for growth and cat map movement, but we're gonna go for public order just for now. Just because public order, we are not too far away from you know being wiped out. I They've got a full stack. Look at this. No. Full stack. Beware the full stack. In that case, we need to get ourselves some warriors. Spears probably be the best. Get them. We have got a garrison here as well, so it's not the be all and end all. And they do have archers as well and horsemen. So if they do attack me here, we should hopefully have something to repel them with. And then we'll obviously push up them with uh, with our main army here. Which is going to be replenishing for a while, probably. Good turn, though. Damn good turn, that. Enjoyed that turn. This campaign's been good. It's been a good campaign. The start of it's been good. It could obviously go tits up at some point. For example, a Blood Axe tribe could decide to betray me and go for... Torture's Island and wipe out my lord while I'm depleted. But they haven't, that's good. Blended structures. The cities of Nehekara are without compare in their scale and grandeur. However, time ravages stone just the same as flesh, and now our buildings are badly in need of restoration. Upon which of them could we focus our endeavors? Militia restored. Or settlement restored. Who are cities? Mission successful. I got more treasury and jars again by maintaining the upkeep of Spears and Warriors. Mission issued. Issue a commandment across one province to get 500 treasury. Ambush it discovered. A dynasty has been researched. I get armor for my skeleton archers and horse units, and I get missile damage for my archers. Ambush has been discovered. That's fine. Right. We need to do another dynasty in that case. I said we go for the quickening because I can get the ammunition and reload time. Get that now. Gets just little stuff like our early game is good. Ashiek has a free slot like upload. Uh, up upload? Up, uh, not upload. Christ, I can't speak properly. Upgrade. Upgrade we're going to do. We're going to upgrade. Get another port as well for income. Look at that. May as well. I have money to burn, so we may as well burn it. Get you up there. Still going to review replenishing, not as highly as that, but you're still going to be pretty high. Yeah, that, <laughs> it's really high actually. You have to stay there. Public order is fine right now. I will that not full stack, you see. <laughs> Might move. Could obviously move the Necrotech out. It will. Necrotech is going to move out and it's going to go towards. Go for it to see. Spy ahead for me, please. Uh, let's check out diplomacy. We haven't done that in a while. Um, see what's around us. So this is where we currently are right now. Happy days. Um, attitude. That action time actually liked me quite a bit. It's deteriorating though, so um, come a great power. Vampire Coast liked me. I could try and get like, an alliance with them. Let me do. So. Sittenberg don't mind me. They neither or. Or I'll be coming into direct conflict with them once I take uh, this by here. We're going to go along the coast there and around there. Maybe we'll go through the dwarves. Don't quite know yet. <laughs> these are the dwarves. We've got Thagans, Errantry. Yeah, all of these are going to be taken out. Kemri is over here somewhere. He doesn't like me too much. Although it's improving. So Cetra the Imperishable. Lord Knights of the of Flame. You know, you wiped out soon. Right. Happy with that. I just want to quickly check that because I haven't really checked it going forward. That all should be good. This is the third episode that I'm recording in a row as well on this Saturday morning. I say Saturday morning, it's actually quarter past one now. But it was the morning when I started recording. Um, I'll probably finish up with this one and then maybe in a couple of hours I'll record the next two. So I've got a full week's worth of videos for you guys of this series. Judas Priest. Such priests should live only to serve their king's undying will. The trail should be anathema to their order, yet among their number half betrayed us. Sparing with a rival tomb king, how should we proceed? Bury him, or we can... Oh. You know, action cost. We'll go for that instead. Probably go has gone up by one. Okay, it's you. More slaves. I need more. Go ahead and find out what's going on. Sources Island. Great, that costs quite a bit. Afford both. 
Get that. Get that. Keep moving. Probably going to actually go enough now. Keep recruiting. We can get more bats now. Yeah, maximize our bats. Just get all the units maxed out and then get all the rubbish stuff afterwards. We've got two armies we can use now. The thing is, Lash X going to be a little bit unhappy, I think, isn't it? Very population surplus now. Once I get Sources Island sorted out, I can get a public order building there, perhaps. And we are using our public order plus five and untainted, which should help. Um, untainted is on the way up, so yeah, we'll be all right. We should be okay going forward. I need to scout ahead, though. You take me oh my god, look at those mounted Yeomans. Mounted Yeomans spam match. Bloody hell, Morgan of the Flame. Interesting. Interesting, Morgan. What are you doing? I am thinking of perhaps setting an ambush. Just where that little crossing is, by the way. He's going to come out to me with that full stack, obviously. But then the Blood Axe tribe might go over there for me and beat them up a little bit like they did last time. Almost like an unofficial alliance. I obviously could take them up myself. Yeah, go and attack the dwarves for me for a bit, that's fine. You are not him. They may as well go that far. I can actually recruit two more units with Arkan. While we're here. Um yeah, let's do that. Let's get some skeleton spears to give you a full stack. We've got the money to afford it, haven't we? Um, yeah, we definitely have. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. View out. I must keep my holy vow. No. I can't see what they got. Find my if I was to move you out, public order would be not too bad, actually. I have arrived. I want to give you a full stack as well. You're just gonna have the last one there. Even if it's not only a half stack, it's still enough. I can have the agent join up with your army anyway. King Sandy Sandsox. I will not blight. I can't go over Bretonia. The bloody spam they're doing right now. I want to upgrade this and get a better garrison as well. Important. All right. End of turn. Also, for those of you watching as well, what's your favourite Warhammer or Warhammer 2 faction? Or if you've got a favourite in both games, what's your favourite in both games? I think for me, my favourite in the first Warhammer game is probably the Vampire Count. I played, I think, two campaigns altogether. Really good. Just enjoyed their units generally and the way they played. Okay, lose public order. Get growth. Uh, and, yeah. Get that one. I'd rather get growth and lose bloody diplomatic relations with everyone. I don't care if everyone hates me. Do you take me for a child? Could attack with you there. Right, we're getting growth, casual replenishment, and untainted now. Immortality and power. Only minus one, that's gonna improve a lot. Address me as your highness. So far as they and we're going to put you into two new you on the other hand you haven't got the movement range obviously to get that far just go there you sort of nearby not too far away the goal's gone down by quite a bit now but yeah look at six turns might be able to take Kofa in that time and then just get more of them while you're there. Abuse it. Use it and abuse it. The ultimate shrine. Could attack his army, but it's only block army I've got, which is just ridiculous. I am a lord of Bretonia. Gonna move Never. you out here. Animus. See if anything else is going on on this side of the border. Doesn't appear to be. Move, move you back a bit. I like to draw them out if possible. What I'm going to do is try and probably put my army in one of these. I can probably put my army in one of these locations around here where the forests are and then have you behind. They might go for the one behind and go and get snatched up by the scorpion army. So that's what we're going to do. Research available. All right, we've got that for the ammunition. Lovely. Now, I could get that. It was public order. Add Tomb King Rakash to your faction's lord pool. 
Characters or leadership effect. Leadership. Oh, that's good. Tax rate's good. It costs one turn. I got enough jars to get it. Let's get that. That's good. A good early game thing to get. We're getting good shit. We're getting really good shit in this campaign. This might be the first episode where you don't, don't have a battle as well. It depends who we get to right here now against Kofa. But don't worry, we'll get that battle tomorrow if that's the case. Oh, he's come out. <laughs> oh my dear. Oh my dear, dear, dear. Right, guys, we're going to end on a cliffhanger. We're going to be sneaky and end on a cliffhanger here because Mogan of the Flame has decided to attack me with a spam stack of cavalry. It's going to be a fun battle. Just loads of cavalry against my units. But we'll wait until tomorrow's episode. Okay, guys, I've been Dragonheart the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you for watching the video. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and all my sponsors on YouTube Gaming. They're currently on the screen right now. For more information, check out all the links in my description and check out the links on the screen as well.